Hello fellow YouTubers! Welcome to another episode of Ektar's Toy Reviews. As you can see, we will be using this new format to conduct our reviews. Uh, I will be using this format to conduct my reviews while you, the audience, will get a better perspective of things because I'll be using this table and my collection as the backdrop. And I think this is uh, much easier as and I can talk clearer because now I'm not in that awkward position which I used to be. So today we will be reviewing Armor Digivolving Magnamon from the Digi Egg of Miracles. If I'm not mistaken, yes, the Digi Egg of Miracles or Digimental of Miracles if you are Japanese, if you prefer the Japanese version. Today what we have here is the English version of the toy and not the Japanese version. Uh, first off, let me just say that I, I, I know I won't say this very often but I think personally that the English version of the toy is much much better than the Japanese version. Yep, I said it. I like this version better than the Japanese one. Um, for a few reasons, I think that this is a very very show accurate toy. Um, it looks great in both modes and in the Japanese version it's uh, it's less show accurate and the figure is very strangely proportioned but let's let but um, that's another story for another time this magnamon figure as you can see is a special edition it's the uh, shiny shiny golden one and not the matte gold painting which we have in the original um yeah so the story is in the series is that Davis to defeat the Digimon Emperor he has to take the power source of his ship which in fact is the Digi Egg of Miracles and in doing so he armor digivolves Vimon into Magnamon. However in the movie we see that the Digi Egg of Miracles is seen again when Angemon warp digivolves to Seraphimon. Uh, I have no idea why that is, it's not really clearly explained but anyway we get to see the DJA again and that's a good thing. So let's get down to the review. The DJA of Miracle is uh, very very well done. It's very nice proportion. From the front it looks exactly like its show counterpart. Very very nice. Very very uh, even very very uh, there's practically no kibble unless you count the head and arms which you can see from the bottom and uh, his head and arms again when you turn the figure around. Uh, at the top, there is supposed to be a cover which have the which has the symbol of the miracles, crest of miracles on it. But I lost it. Yes, I'm sorry about that. I lost the cover. Uh, however, they as you can see, there are four points here to connect the covers. But you can see the DJ of I mean the crest of miracles in here, so it doesn't really matter. It still sim, it still looks like what it should be. So pretend the cover is on here, and it practically has absolutely zero kibble. I love this mode. This mode receives an 8 upon 10 for me. So let's go ahead and armor digivolve this one into Magnamon. Now the digivolution process is a little strange. Um, first, we split open this shell to reveal his legs and the rest of his body. We take this over here and split it apart. And this over here and we split it apart. And what we have left is this assembly. We straighten this up like so. As you can see, the body and the legs over here. We open this like so. Take the whole torso and spin it around. Then all we have to do, turn the head around. Turn the head around. Uh, bring the arms down, bring the arms down, and the next thing we do is to form the shoulder pads. Uh, the shoulder pads, we have to turn this whole egg section around, turn this whole egg shell section around, and just close it. Very easy. And we hear a very, very nice click. Like so. 
and we have and we have this remaining two pieces which would otherwise be known as kibble but they have ingeniously found a way to incorporate this into the toy that's what I love about this so what we do is take a piece over here and attach it attach it to this knob over here like so and just close it do the same for the other side uh, these two pieces are interchangeable so it doesn't matter which side you put it on and there we go this is the Digimon Magnamon in his shining shining glory and I forgot to tell you we have to extend the cans over here just pull them out and there we go Magnamon in its shining shining glory all right so Magnamon is has the same colors as his uh, DJ partner counterpart however his head is uh, this matte gold and not the shiny gold that we have here on his armor his legs are also matte gold his, his, uh, bo his body is blue with a white belly and the back here we also have blue I'm not sure whether he's supposed to have a tail or not but I do not have a tail I think he's supposed to have a tail um, practically zero kibble very very well done I like the fact that they have incorporated the armor pieces into his uh, the egg pieces into his armor it's very very well done this is a fantastic figure one of the best of the armor digivolving lines I'm very very proud to own this figure and you can get the shiny version like the one I have here look at, that. Look at the light reflecting of it it's amazing if you are able to get this version by all means by all means get it so I give this mode a 9 upon 10 just because he looks that so much awesome so awesome ah, uh, well, that's all I can say and so I'll see you guys next week with another Actas reviews thanks for watching の真ん中の上から 4分の 1のところを左手でつまみます。次に左手でつまんだところから延長した肩と裾のところを右手でつまみます。あとは払って袖のところから折り込むようにして畳めば